without objection. Thank you, Mr. President. And first, uh, let me say it's been a long, long road for both sides. Each side had sincere convictions, and uh, we're at this point. So I would suggest, I want to say three things. First, I would suggest we turn the page. We turn, it's time to turn the page. I would say to my dear friend, the majority leader, we are not celebrating. We are relieved that millions and millions of people who would have been so drastically hurt by the three proposals put forward will at least retain their health care, be able to deal with pre-existing conditions, deal with nursing homes and opioids that Medicaid paid for. We are relieved, not for ourselves, but for the American people. But as I said over and over again, Obamacare was hardly perfect. It did a lot of good things, but it needs improvement. And I hope one part of turning that page is that we go back to regular order, work in the committees together to improve Obamacare. We have good leaders, the senator from Tennessee and the senator from Washington, the senator from Utah, the senator from Oregon. They have worked well together in the past and can work well together in the future. There are suggestions that we are interested in that come from members on the other side of the aisle, the senator from Maine, the senator from Louisiana. So let's turn the page and work together to improve our health care system. And let's turn the page in another way. All of us were so inspired <laughs> by the speech and the life of the senator from Arizona. And he asked us to go back to regular order, to bring back the Senate that some of us who were here have been here a while remember. Maybe this can be a moment where we start doing that. Both sides will have to give. The blame hardly falls on one side or the other. But if we can take this moment, a solemn moment, and start working this body the way it had always worked until the last decade or so, with both sides to blame for the deterioration, we will do a better job for our country, a better job for this body, a better job for ourselves. And finally, I'm glad that the leader asked us to move to NDAA. We need to do it. I can say on this side of the aisle, we will move expeditiously. I know that the senator from Rhode Island has worked with the senator from Arizona on a list of amendments that can be agreed to, and we can finish this bill up rather quickly. And as I mentioned to the majority leader, there are some other things we can do rather quickly, including moving a whole lot of nominations. So we can work together. Our country demands it. Every place in every corner of the world, of the country where we go, the number one thing we are asked, and I know this because I've talked to my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, is can't you guys work together? Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I yield the floor.